I feel, and that's not like a rational thing, like whether this vaccine, uh, I shouldn't mention that, but whether the jab was absolutely the best thing that you can do at, or, or the worst thing you can do, I have really no opinion. If every, everybody should choose for themselves as far as I'm concerned, but I have a really imminent sense of danger. And that is not like, because I, it's, there's something not right about where this is going. I do not like the way that this is going. And uh, um, it reminds me, I just listened to your podcast that you did with uh, Aubrey Marcus and uh, Zach Bush. And I probably this morning while I was practicing my yoga practice and probably cried through the whole thing. Like literally, it was just like, it was so touching. And um, it was probably the most beautiful podcast I've ever heard. Hmm. And one of the things about was beautiful too is like just the way that you three men were dealing with each other there i just you know there was a, a person this morning on my feed she was like white men are so this i'm like oh really and i was like well these three men these are three or i don't know aubrey if he's white or not but two of them are white and the most respectful way of how you listen to each other and the raising of the vibration was just exquisite and as one of the things you said in there um was i wanted to which ties into what i just said is that uh you said that this curious statement that just struck me right in the heart you said everybody wanted to come for this moment because we're at the birth of something new and it's just like I mean, I, I have goosebumps again now. And, you know, I feel like I, I knew this was coming. When you said that, I was like, yes, that's why I came. I knew this was coming ever since I, I read Lord of the Rings. Like uh, many, many years ago, I, when I was 14, I sequestered myself in, in, a, in, in, a, in my room and I didn't come out until I read all three books. And I declared that's my favorite books of all times. I read it like every couple of years, I read it again. And I felt like the moment this started and, you know, not just this, but a few other things that I saw, you know, that like we were being misled. And uh, I was like, we are in this now. So there is definitely something bigger that's at stake. And I feel like there's something that wants us to go a different route like more into control and like and we are at a crossroads so i i was wondering if you could speak a little bit to that like why did everybody come for this because we have we have come for this i know so tell me more about that one of one of the essays i wrote during covid was called the rehearsal is over which is pointing to the fact that like We've been getting ready for a long time, uh, philosophizing, talking about these ideas. And now we're actually required to, to live differently according to our ideas. Required in a way like, I mean, I've been um, a critic of conventional medicine for a long time. I've been pretty much you know, outside the system for a long time, but it didn't really matter that much. Um, I could hold my different beliefs and no one would really bother me. Well, that is starting to change now uh, where, where, you know, if I didn't, didn't get vaccinated, then I wouldn't be allowed, you know, to enter various countries. I wouldn't be allowed to, to, to concert halls, you know, restaurants, et cetera, et cetera. So, if I want to participate in society, I have to actually do something brave. You know, I can't just slide under the radar. Uh, I, I, and and you know, continue to 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 live a full life. So I'm being pushed into a kind of an activism that I didn't have to be part of before. 
Now, I will, I've always been somewhat vocal on these things, so I, I don't want to overstate the case, but it's like, okay, it's showtime now. And I can look at my life up until now as a preparatory phase where the, 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 I laid the ground for the capacities and gifts that need to be expressed right now. And you could look at this also like on a much bigger scale that we have all of us here been incarnating and reincarnating again and again, developing the uh, experiences and um, conditions. It's not like we've been, see, I don't, want, I don't want to say that we're necessarily like more capable than human beings were 2000 years ago, but our consciousness has reached a point where we are ready for this particular initiation into a higher degree of our power, actually, and our, our, our reality as consciously choosing beings. The time in our story for that is here. We've been even like yearning for it, desperate for things to matter, both um, afraid of it, but and desiring it at the same time, afraid of the comfortable normality, the comfortable prison breaking apart, but of course also. Uh, yawning, yearn, yearning for that liberation. That's why for so much, like every time a, 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 a world ending calamity came onto the radar, people were like kind of excited for it. Y2K, peak oil, 2012, you know, people were, were like, there was a part of them that was like, oh yeah, this is going to happen. It wasn't just a warning and a terror of it. It was that, but it was also a desire. And now it's here. After all of those false alarms, it is here. We are not going back to normal. It's going to be one thing after another, after another, each thing calling us more and more clearly into our full agency. 